today we're going to use some yarn and a tin can to make this really cute braid wrapped tin can fall decor item. For this project, you will need a tin can, yarn, you can pick this up for a dollar at Dollar Tree, and you will need some glue. I'm gonna use hot glue, but you could also use Elmer's glue. The first step is braiding our yarn. So for me, I'm gonna do one long braid, and to make this easier, I've got two chairs set up spread apart, and I'm going to tie one end of my yarn to the one chair, and then walk across to the other chair and wrap it around the top, and I'm gonna go back and forth until I have nine strands running back and forth. So I went back and forth, and now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strands running back and forth, and I'm gonna cut my yarn. Next, I'm gonna cut a little tail piece and tie it on the top at my end so that way my yarn is fastened together. And I was trying to tie this knot with one hand because I was holding the camera in the other. A little hard to do, but you get the idea. We're tying a knot around the nine strands of yarn. Then I'm gonna go down to the first end and I'm gonna cut all the loops. And then I'm also going to undo the little slip knot that I started with. Then I'm gonna separate my nine strands into three sections, each with three strands. And these I'm going to then braid together. Now it's easier to braid if you do a shorter section, but to me, I found it really tedious doing a bunch of short sections and braiding them. And it was hard to get the right amount and not end up with a bunch of wasted yarn. So that's why I'm doing it where I'm running it between the chairs to make it really long. However, with the long strands, it's really easy for it to tangle while braiding. So here are my tips to help this go easier. First of all, wind your sections into mini balls of yarn. This will keep them from getting as tangled. And then what you're going to do is you want to start braiding a little section and then pause and then go to the end and basically unbraid the ends in the opposite direction so that way you don't create knots and snarls. This would also go faster if you have someone helping you. You can work on braiding the yarn while they essentially unbraid the ends so they don't get tangled. But I went all the way to the ends of my strands of yarn and then I cut off a little piece and tied it around the bottom just to fasten that off. And at this point I had this really nice long braid. What I'm showing here is that your braid will be shorter than the length you started with, so just keep that in mind. You can just take that little loop off of your chair and now we're ready to attach it to our tin can. As I said, I'm going to use my hot glue gun, but you can use Elmer's glue and clothes pins. I like the hot glue because it bonds really fast and you can get this done quickly. So I'm going to start by trimming the tails off my braid, put a little bit of hot glue at the top and fold it to the inside of the can. Then I'm gonna run some hot glue down the side and hot glue the braid down the side of the can. Once it's fastened on the side of the can, I'm gonna do a little bit of hot glue on the bottom and make it attached on the bottom. And now we're just gonna go back and forth, kind of zigzagging up and down our can with the braid. One important thing to note here is depending on how you fold the braid, you may end up with braids all running the same direction or you may end up where your braids run in opposite directions every time. I wanted my braids to all run in the same direction, so I'm kind of just turning it and folding it and making sure that all my braids run in the same direction. And then if there's any gapping between your braid sections, you can of course dab a little bit of hot glue and fill that in. And then I'm gonna go to the top, put a little bit of hot glue and fold it to the inside of my can and then we're just going to keep repeating this process up and down the can and each time I'm making sure that I'm using enough hot glue that it's staying on securely and I am also making sure that all my braids are running in the same direction. Now with my tin can, you can see the metal of the can through the braids a little bit. I like that look personally, but if you want to avoid that, you can either make the braids closer together or you can first paint the tin can before adding the yarn. So my braid ended up being just barely not long enough to go all the way around the can. So once I ran out, I glued my tail onto the bottom, trimmed it off, and then used a little bit of hot glue to make sure those tails were really well fastened to the bottom of the can. To fill in the extra space, I took my yarn and with my fingers I measured a piece that was a little taller than the can and then I went back and forth at that length until I had nine strands and then cut my yarn. I took a little tail, tied it around one end and then went to the opposite end and cut the loop. Then I took my nine strands and braided them together. Once I got to the end of the braid, I again tied it off with a little piece of yarn and then I trimmed the tails before gluing this onto my can. Now I ended up still needing another braid so I just made another one, glued it on there at the top glued it along down the side, and glued it along the bottom. Once again, I trimmed off the excess. So that is the basic look of the braided yarn wrapped tin can. And now for the fun part where you customize it and make it look however you want. So I've got this blue one and I did this yellow one as well. And this one I painted the word fall on it with black paint and it really reminds me of sunflowers. But let me show you a couple different looks you can do with these tin cans. So with my blue can, I cut out a rectangle of white fabric that was long enough to wrap all the way around my can. And then I folded it in half and used just a hair straightener to iron it flat and smooth. 
I got out my hot glue gun and glued it along the top edge of my can. And I came down further on my can than I wanted to. I wanted to only do like the top third, but I ended up doing about the top half of the can. But hey, it turned out really cute in the end. So I'm not complaining. I just went all the way around with hot glue and then I overlapped it. And then with my end, I decided to fold it under kind of like a hem and then glue it just so that way I had a nice, neat, crisp edge. And then I put glue along the inside and folded it down to the inside of the can. Now this part felt a little tricky at first, but honestly it turned out okay. I just kind of loaded it up with hot glue and then just shoved the fabric down in there, folding it over neatly. And as long as you've got enough hot glue to hold it in place, it's gonna turn out fine. So then it looked like that, which was super cute, and I decided to take it one step further and add the word harvest on there. So I first traced it out with a pencil so that way I could make sure that it looked exactly the way I wanted it to, and then I took a sharpie and traced over my pencil writing. But this turned out super cute. Another idea is to add some details by painting on your tin cans, and so I decided to take my yellow can that said fall and paint it like a candy corn. So I took a sheet of paper and wrapped it snugly around the can and taped it in place. And then I got out some orange paint and used a sponge brush to just sponge it along the bottom of my can. You will want to really load it up with paint because the yarn tends to absorb so much of the paint. Now make sure that you overlap the paper just a little bit so that way you come all the way to that edge. Once the orange paint was dry, I did the same process on the top of the can with some white paint. Again, I just wrapped a piece of paper around it and then sponged white paint along the top. I found with the white paint that I had to do about three coats because it absorbed in so much with the yellow that it ended up looking really faded. And now it looks like a candy corn, which I just think is so cute and fall and festive. My last idea is to paint a word or phrase on there. So again, I just have this acrylic black paint and I've got a fine paintbrush and I'm going over the letters I already painted on there. Once the first layer of paint is down, it's a lot easier to paint on there. But when you do that first layer for your letters, you want to make sure you really load up the paintbrush with paint because the yarn will really absorb it. But don't worry if your first coat is messy, it probably will be. But once that dries, then you can just keep adding more and more layers and it'll get really vivid and end up looking really crisp. And then all that was left to do was decorate with my tin cans. So here is how they turned out. I think they are so cute. And with my blue can that says harvest, I decided to put some fake sunflowers in there. And you could also add a little fake leaf or any other details you want. This is great to incorporate with other decor items. So for example, I paired it with this paper mache pumpkin that I made. And if you want to learn how to make that pumpkin, I will link the card to that video. I like my little candy corn can because I have the option of either having the word fall displayed or not having the word fall displayed. So here I paired it with a pumpkin I crocheted and with this little sign that says harvest that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And it just looks very cute. But ultimately with the candy corn can, I decided to put some flowers in it. So I put a little bit of water in the bottom and yes, you may end up getting the yarn wet when you're filling it with water, but that's okay, it will dry out. And then I got some flowers from the garden, so I had like a zinnia and some marigolds and put them into the can with some water. And honestly, I think this is my favorite look. It turned out so cute. And here I have it on a mantle, but I ended up putting it in a windowsill. But that is the Yarn Braid Wrap Tin Can Fall DIY Decor Project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments which look is your favorite. Did you like them plain? Did you like them with the fabric added? Let me know. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel while you're here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone is having an awesome fall and I will see you in my next video. Happy crafting!